Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Who is in charge of immigration in the United States? So who is really in charge of immigration in the United States? Let's break it down. The power to regulate immigration is largely held by Congress. According to the Constitution, Congress has the authority to make all laws necessary for carrying out its powers, including those related to immigration. This is based on Article 1, Section 8, which gives Congress broad powers to regulate various aspects of the country, including naturalization and foreign commerce. Congress's power over immigration is quite extensive. It can make laws that decide whether foreign nationals can enter or stay in the United States. This includes setting rules for the admission and exclusion of non-resident aliens, and even laws that might exclude aliens based on certain criteria like ethnicity, gender, or political beliefs. But Congress isn't the only player here. The executive branch, particularly through the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, also plays a crucial role. DHS is responsible for administering the immigration system, and it includes several key agencies like U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, and Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE. USCIS is the agency that oversees the process of lawful entry into the United States. It handles applications for visas, green cards, and citizenship. USCIS also conducts background checks, collects biometric information, and manages the E-Verify system to check employment eligibility. ICE, on the other hand, is the enforcement arm. It identifies, detains, and removes undocumented aliens from the United States. ICE prioritizes the removal of convicted criminals and those who pose a threat to national security. The Department of State is also involved, particularly in issuing visas. While a visa allows someone to travel to the U.S. border, it's the customs officials who decide whether they can actually enter the country. So to sum it up, Congress sets the laws and policies for immigration, while the executive branch, through agencies like DHS, USCIS, ICE, and the Department of State, enforces and administers these laws. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.